But we're going to shift topics now to the big debate in Madison yesterday, which was uh, defunding Planned Parenthood. Now, if you hear Scott walk on the campaign trail, he's already he said he's done that, but that was just at the state level. This mm -hmm. is now federal funding. Mary, can you tell us a little bit about what's what's at stake and what the debate is? Sure. So there are a couple of bills that came up for hearing yesterday. Um, have. Uh, support from Governor Walker from what we understand um, and what he said in New Hampshire one would pull uh, federal funding it's a title 10 program but that's kind of down in the weeds it would uh, essentially end federal funding to Planned Parenthood from one pretty key money stream another one would really sharply limit how much they can get reimbursed for prescription drugs. It's been estimated that this could cost Planned Parenthood about $7.5 million a year. And that money, they've said, and uh, it's you know basically banned from being used to provide abortions, but um, anti-abortion groups say that getting this money frees them up to then use other money to perform abortions. So it, I think that I'd probably be pretty surprised if uh, some form of those don't pass, given that we have uh, Republican control of both houses and a Republican governor. Um, but Democrats are obviously very critical of right, them. Yeah. Well, let me ask you, ask Patrick here. I mean, as Mary just mentioned, I mean, the, the federal money can't go directly to pay for an abortion. We know, we know that that's a longstanding unless thing, like right? rape or incest uh, or right, emergency. Right. There's, there's the yeah. But I mean. On a practical basis, Patrick, what what's going on here? Is this you know are they trying to you know build support among these supporters? Is this an issue that has a narrow narrow, narrow support or wider support? How do how do you see this thing playing out? Well, I mean, it has the Planned Parenthood is viewed as um, you know Republicans have very strong feelings about Planned Parenthood, and they're not positive feelings. And so, although this particular money is not earmarked to go toward abortions, they want to end any kind of public subsidy for that organization. And so, they want to cut off funds in any way. Uh, they see this as a new strategy to do that. I think that's a message that's very popular with uh, you know rank and file Republican voters. Um, as to when you get into the state capitol, I think it's going to be a matter of strategy. There have been a number of uh, anti-abortion measures, is there going to be a sense that they've done enough? How important is this compared to the 20-week abortion ban that they recently passed or uh, ban on work on fetal tissue, which there, which is also in process? Um, it's a little unclear. You know, the Assembly has really been leading on this. They've taken these issues out uh, and, and put them as priorities, at least some key members have. In the State Senate, things have been quieter, both houses controlled by Republicans. But I don't know, I, I think we're going to see more restrictions on either abortion or, um, you, you know, so, sort of dealing with those social conservative issues. Uh, but which of them come through? I'm not sure we know that yet. Yeah. Well, let me ask you, Mary. Now, the governor has said he supports the issue at hand, right? This defunding of the, you know, defunding, so to speak, of the federal funds. Right. He was asked um, in New Hampshire, and I think Craig Gilbert asked him about it too there, um, where he was talking about pulling federal funds from Planned Parenthood. He said he supports it. Um, he was asked about the legis or he mentioned legislation in Wisconsin aimed at doing that. Uh, he said he supports it and that he thinks it would withstand uh, a legal challenge. Yeah, let's talk just briefly about that, that other mm -hmm. states have tried to do this sort of thing in a different way, and they've structured it here in a manner that they help would avoid lawsuits. Other states have essentially um, run afoul of federal law by trying to block Medicaid funding from going to Planned Parenthood. And um, if you look at memos from the federal government, it says that you can't, you essentially can't bl uh, block a provider based on other services they may perform, such as abortion. So while federal money can't be used to provide abortions, you can't block a provider solely because they provide abortions with other money.